Hello, beautiful souls. But I feel that there's something about the way that you go about living your life or approaching work, life, love, relationships that really does not conform to what society wants out of you. And I'm hearing it gets tiring for whoever I'm speaking to here. You might find yourself getting weary from this journey of non-conformance in this life. But I'm picking up that your guides want you to know that as you are breaking the chain, as you're breaking with some kind of conformance or tradition, you are actually carving out a new pathway that others are going to be able to follow. You're leading the way into a higher vibrational collective timeline that we could even refer to as you shifting into more of a 5D level of consciousness. But because you're one of the first to undergo this shift, there are going to be many others who understand you. And with the Ace of Cups reversed, I feel a lot of sadness and pain associated with your human self because of this. Recently or even today, someone I'm tapping into here may have found themselves reflecting on their life and thinking about the ways in which they have felt alone or felt misunderstood by society or by the people around them. Now, I'm hearing rigidity shifting to flexibility. So someone might literally practice their own flexibility with their physical body, doing yoga or exercises of some kind. But I feel that the most important flexibility you are learning is spiritual and energetic. You are learning to surrender, learning to release your rigid attachments and expectations for this life, and opening yourself up to being very flexible. The beautiful thing about this flexibility is it's actually expanding you in a profound way and opening up potential outcomes, possibilities, magical timeline potentials that actually were not accessible to you from that previous state of rigidity. And now, I just pulled the card, lifting the veil, questioning everything, anything unaligned must go. There is a lot of energetic uprooting happening in your life right now, and I wanted to say, in your connection. So there may be a specific connection in your life that is experiencing a lot of heavy purification. This may be a twin flame connection because I do see the action card as well as the yin-yang card reversed. So if you are someone who identifies as being on a twin flame path, whether or not you consider the other physical person to be relevant to your life journey physically at this time, the two of you are very much spiritually and energetically bonded. And as a result of this bond, there is a great deal of collaboration happening between your souls on a higher plane. You are consciously picking up on this and feeling this in a very visceral way that might actually feel even a little bit ungrounding to you at times. I'm hearing that the two of you are breaking free of restriction. So this might be restriction individually within yourself or your life, opening yourself to more of a free or abundant mindset. From Divine Muscular, type yes if you believe. My beloved love, this may be restriction in the form of viewing this connection in a limited way. Perhaps in the past, you were very attached to some kind of limitation or restriction regarding what this twin flame path needed to look like or what the physical landscape of this relationship needed to look like for you in the physical world. But I see that through the powerful arts of surrender, and through practicing this spiritual flexibility that we touched on earlier, you are actually aligning with a higher potential version of outcomes here between you and this person within your connection. And I'm talking about the physical component of your connection that we sometimes refer to as the relationship. Of course, the connection is always there regardless of what that relationship looks like but I'm seeing that physical 3D relationship manifesting in a way that may be somewhat unexpected and also seems to be out of the box in some way, seems to break free of some of those previously constructed limitations created from that more rigid 3D-based mindset. Now, I will say that in the past, and what the two of you seem to be shifting out of, is the devil energy where the two of you have been bonded together in this eternal connection in a way that may have actually felt painful, codependent, or really heavy to one or both of you. Specifically, I'm feeling that whoever identifies here as the Divine Feminine may have felt as though this connection was almost becoming like a chain, like something very heavy that they were dragging around with them. And I'm hearing that if that was the case, 
that sense of weight was actually meant to illuminate any patterns of unworthiness, fear, or codependency within you that may have caused you in the past to attempt to control outcomes here. And the more you shift into a knowingness of your own worthiness, into self-trust, I am picking up that you are breaking free of this devil energy. It's very ironic because the intensity of a twin flame connection means that it's really two sides of a coin. You can both embody the lover's energy, that essence of ultimate harmonious partnership, union, collaboration, in alignment at both the physical and spiritual level when things are healed and in sync energetically. But when things are blocked energetically, the very opposite can be true. You can feel as though you're in the devil energy. You can feel like there's a kind of intense heaviness and dark emotionality around the bond. You can feel as though you're chained into something that you just want to get out of. And I'm hearing that as you find the ways, identify the ways that perhaps you've been running from yourself. You actually shift the energy of this bond from this devil energy, from something that feels like a weight or a chain, to the lover's card, to something that supports you and your freedom and the ultimate highest timeline you are aligning with. And this shift will take place regardless of what that physical 3D relationship looks like with that person. From Divine Muscular, type yes if you believe.